Stoics aren't as fearful as other people. Partially, this is due to the fact that they simply have more control over their emotions. But more importantly, the philosophy of Stoicism builds a quintessential foundation that helps us to cope with existing fears and also prevent future fears from developing. In that way, Stoicism isn't necessarily a cure for all your existing fears, even though it helps with it, but it is a precaution that you can take to not develop any new ones. Think about how fears come into existence. The first example would be loss. The loss of a family member, a friend or simply a big sum of money. If you lose any of these at a very young age, then you become fearful of going through such a loss ever again. You become fearful of losing a family member. In that way, you might become incredibly clingy when it comes to your future relationships. Or the loss of a big sum of money brings you into a position where you incredibly afraid of being poor, where you are incredibly afraid of losing money ever again, which makes you quite risk averse. In that way, Stoicism helps us because it preaches that everything is coming into existence and passing out of existence incredibly fast. The transitory nature of everything is a fundamental aspect of Stoicism. We even remind ourselves of our own mortality to realize that we are just here for a brief period and even the things that we supposedly own are only borrowed in the first place. And when we don't develop these incredibly strong attachments, then loss will also be not as difficult. And when loss isn't as difficult, then we will also not develop these fears as easily. In that way, Stoicism helps us to prevent the fear of losing someone or something. Secondly, how do fears also come into existence? For example, through obsessive desires. If you desire an incredibly fit, healthy and good looking body, then inevitably you will eventually start fearing the things that are unhealthy and bad for your body. This is just how things are. And Stoicism teaches you moderation. In that way, you don't develop these obsessive desires in the first place. And if you don't develop this obsessive desire towards anything, then you can also not develop the fear that comes with it. Because if you think about it, if you have this obsessive desire to be healthy, then you will feel guilty and afraid of all the unhealthy things that you consume. Because you know, hey, this might have tremendous negative effects on me when in real when in reality a single piece of cake a month is probably not going to have any significant effect on you. But your obsession with being healthy, your desire to be healthy makes you so afraid of it. Moderation teaches you that, hey, simply you don't develop the obsession in the first place and even if you occasionally indulge, it is still going to be in moderation. Lastly, Stoicism also helps us with coping with our fear of making mistakes. Because frequently we go through life and we worry that we do something wrong. Being it in a relationship, while studying or going to school, or simply when we are at work. We constantly have this fear of not doing the right thing, doing something wrong, making a mistake, acting unjustly and so on and so forth. And Stoicism has two tremendous advantages right there. Firstly, it makes us realize with the dichotomy of control that there are some things that are within our control, mainly our thoughts and our behaviors, and that there are many things that are not in our control, basically everything external. In that way, we are not as afraid anymore because we simply can't take responsibility for so many things. We are usually afraid that our small behaviors are going to have a significant negative impact on anyone but with Stoicism, you begin, to, you begin to realize that how people react might actually not be your fault, but their fault. Because you can only do what you think is right, and if they respond negatively to it, then this isn't your fault. Furthermore, Stoicism encourages you to live a virtuous life. And living virtuously means also that you try your best. And if you tried your best and there was still a mistake at the end of it, then you don't blame yourself for it and you're not afraid of it because 
you know you had the right intentions and that you did the right thing. If you made a fuck up, then you simply say, all right, I'm going to accept the mistake as for what it is and going to move on. You're simply not as fearful anymore because you realize that you don't need to be fearful. You need to only be fearful of yourself because this is the only thing that you can influence. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment below and hit the like button. A huge shout out to Elizy, David Rose and Robert Kemp for supporting me on Patreon. I wish you a wonderful day and I will be seeing you in the very next video.